Hello comrades, Kamiasar Bro here today with the recently released, about a month ago, April uh, 21st I think, Highlands. This game is very interesting and I can already say it seems like I'm a fan of it, that's for sure. Now I want to apologize ahead of time if there's any lag of any sort, that is purely on my side, the game itself does not lag or have any issues, just so you know. Uh, with that said, this game was just developed by Burrito Studios. <laughs> Interesting name to say the least. They are actually nice enough to provide me a copy of this game, which I was looking at it. I'm not even going to lie, I was looking at it about a month ago, because I'm always interested in playing new strategy games and whatnot. And uh, I passed over it, and now I kind of regret it. Because this game deserves way more coverage than I think uh, it's actually getting. Just so you know. Well, without further ado, let's actually talk about the gameplay mechanics and so on and so forth. So, pretty much, you've got leadership right off the bat that you can produce from sectors. You use this to recruit and for character skills. Uh, you've got food, obviously, for upkeep, but not just that, but also healing as your guys get injured. Uh, and then you've got scraps, which is used for crafting as well as character skills. You gain these resources by taking over different sectors, as you can see. There's different sections here in our little castle in the sky here of Lapida. <laughs> Not really, just saying. But anyway, so let's actually take a look at what the combat looks like. The game mechanics are incredibly simple. Like, I mean, it's it's definitely not, like, overcomplicated to any means of the imagination. So I think we'll catch on pretty quickly how this works. Right now, we're in the battle screen. We've got five people. These are all family members of the royal family, which I'm not going to go into the story. I played about two hours of the story, but I figured I would pick the second mission uh, to play through for its simplicity and uh, for sake of explanation and ease. But anyway, so yes, we've got five people. Now, obviously, the damage output is right here, one to two. On the roll, that means he can do between one and two damage. We can do between three and 14. Each one of our characters has a certain, let's call it health for now, uh, basically a combat class and our uh, the daughter the princess here has ten this guy who's basically the uncle has six leoric has got five four and two the child Mika's got two so without further ado you can actually choose who takes the damage uh, for each attack you can't actually choose who you're attacking but you can choose who's gonna receive damage in this case let's go with uh, uh, Cecilia for her having the highest modifier okay there you go she took two damage now, Mika, if he had been hit by that, would have died. <laughs> so, it's a good thing that we didn't send him in there, but he's so lonesome to take that damage. Alright, so we're going to another battle. Boop. Damage. Deal. Dealt. Destroyed. Alright, we keep moving up. We're clearing out these sectors to make sure that our little home here doesn't get taken over. Which, as you can see, has fortification level. It can get up to 200. Basically... The more things that are surrounding or attacking this, the more damage it takes. If your combat value is lower than all the surrounding enemies, you will take all the damage summed up in damage each turn. For this turn, obviously, we're cutting off this army of eight, so only four damage can be dealt. Simple, very simple, as we can see. All right, there we go. Boom, took him out. And we're going to go kill this guy as well real quick. This, and this, these, this little army here is going to come in and take that, but that's alright. No worries, no worries, we'll be fine. Alright, do the attack, 6 damage, wiped him out. Again, the mechanics in this game are incredibly simple. Truly for me, what sells this game and makes it just absolutely phenomenal is the graphics. The, the aesthetic of this whole game, it's from the music to the actual artistic, like, you know, the assets in the game. It, it's beautiful. It's like a Disney movie. It's crazy. <laughs> so I very much like that. To me, that's, you know, that puts this game way above what it would be otherwise if another game did something similar or took an idea similar to this. It wouldn't be as good because of the lack of polish, you could say. So basically what I'm doing right now is we've just taken over this little area with a mill. You can actually allocate more resources, resource generation. Uh, we get it up there, so you got to fill up that bar. Your, your heroes can do it. We clicked on her. She's already going to be doing that. Let's get Micah, since he's not doing anything, to fortify this position. And we'll also get, uh, yeah, we'll get Megan 
to do medic, to perform medic on the rest of the guys to heal our guys who are damaged. Okay, see there we go. Now we're producing plus two food from this region. All right, and uh, we're gonna fortify just a tad bit more, I think. And we're gonna put this. We're, actually, no, we need to we need to keep him on garrison duty. We'll keep Micah on the fortify. All right. Oh, oh, she's idle. All right, put her on garrison then. All right, and she's idle as well, so put her on garrison, and he's gonna be idle. So we'll put him on fortification. So we've upped it a lot. All right. Now we're going to move over here. We're going to take this region real quick. That's going to take some damage because no one's defending it. That's fine. Yes, attack. Boom. Wiped out. Now, this game seems incredibly simple, right? Well, it gets very difficult very fast. Even on this mission alone, being the second mission in the entire game. Um, if you take too long, enemies start to spawn. And they will defeat you if you don't. If, like if you don't if you don't win the map fast enough they regen so many guys and that's actually what happened to me in my previous playthrough was I was just completely and utterly overwhelmed and there was really nothing I could do about it um, actually you know what let me take her back and let me take Eldrick back and we're gonna put them both on resource generation to get some food flowing into a coffers see look here it tells us in four turns your enemies will have reinforcements during that turn every sector will spawn additional enemies before wasting too many turns reinforcements will happen every nine turns from now on so it pays off to conquer all these excess realms but at the same time it makes your overall goal of completing the level that much harder if you didn't do it like if you just didn't speed run through it so it kind of it puts challenge to what's an otherwise very simplistic game it, it makes it makes it really difficult so here we go we have a tavern we can actually recruit guys from here unfortunately we don't have enough resources to recruit any of these guys They're, they all cost 30 as we can see down here we've only got 18 so what that means for us is we basically need to move up and try to take some more of these regions or we could uh oh we need, we need to kill this guy alright good we got him got him got him in one hit beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful alright and see new enemies just spawned throughout the entire sector. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Cecilia back here and I think we can get Eldrick back there as well. Yeah, we can. All right, and we're gonna put that on resource generation so that we can start generating plus three leadership a turn. Again, this game is very simple, yet it's aesthetic, it's presentation, is is it, it sells this game to me. Like, again, with the music, the simplicity, yet at the same time, the challenge of the gameplay itself. This is phenomenal. And I cannot believe it's not getting more coverage. Really, I don't understand how this game isn't getting more coverage because this is great. And even then, it's cheap. It's only 15 bucks for this game. So, to me, this is well worth anyone's money. Anybody's. Because it's just... it's, it's There's... There's depth here, and there's presentation. You can tell that the developer, Burrito Studios in this case, actually took the time and effort to want to make a fun game, and or even just the story. I mean, the story, I'll admit, is not profound by any means of the imagination from how far I've gotten so far, but it's it's still good. It's just like, it's almost like just a simplistic tale about, you know, loss, and uh, you know, kind of, it's kind of, I guess you could say, a little bit of revenge in there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much into that. But the, yeah, there is. It's there. And see, like this is a cutscene, for example. We have Leoric here saying, "So many fields burn. You know, people kill. Blah blah blah." There's Mika talking, and you know, there's. It's look how beautiful that artwork is. I can't get over that. It's, it's like looking at a freaking Disney movie, man. That's great. That is absolutely great. I, I I don't know. This is a great game. This is a great game, and I really do feel like it's worth. It is worth just an asking price of fifteen measly dollars. I mean, fifteen dollars nowadays. It, you know, it, 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 it can it can not go very far. But this, to me, this is valuable. To me, this would actually be worth that money. So yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good uh, first impressions video, giving you guys just a basic idea of what the game looks like, how it works, and we're actually going to recruit us a, a combatant here, Ludmilla Burtkova. All right, Burtkova, get your ass on the front line, lady. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna heal all of our guys. See how many enemies we have now, and it's just gotten that much harder. 
because we still have to find a way to beat through the hordes within the time limit before more spawn as as more spawn it's going to become practically impossible and again this is only the second level this isn't like we're five hours into the game this is this is the second level right after the tutorial mission and arguably is still part of the tutorial itself so yeah 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 that's it's I don't know. I like this game. This is definitely worth the money. This is definitely worth your money. But uh, anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has uh, helped you, if you know, in choosing a video game. If you know, you, if you find it interesting or whatnot, ever you think it's worth supporting the devs over. I personally think it is. I think this is a great game, and they do deserve it. Uh, at least some sort of acknowledgement for that. Oh no 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 no! We don't want to send him to do that. Don't do that. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. And I will see you next time.